that your faith to grow. You must train up your faith. Amen. When your faith grows up and stays higher, trust me, fear will be scared of you. <laughs> Amen. I'm going to say that one more time. Fear will be scared of you. Yes. Because the only way that the fear stays, faith cannot stay. Amen. But in place that fear, it's the, the, the faith stays, you don't have to say nothing to fear. The fear that just has to go. Hallelujah. hallelujah. I said hallelujah. hallelujah. We must develop and train our faith. We have to put our faith to work. Yes. When you make a decision, you say, you know what? I've depended on my mama for too long. I've depended on my so-and-so for too long. From now on, I'm cutting all this off me. I'm cutting her and him off me. I want to put faith in God. If God will let me die while believing him, I better die believing in God. I'm not going to continue depending on that and depending on that and prepare. I'm going to put faith in God.
that you don't want to talk nothing about the scripture. You just want to use your head. That brings a limit to how much God can give to you. Now here's what I want you to take home. Your faith that is strong. Nothing shakes you. Do you think he's going to have any trouble blessing you? Well, well, well. That's all right. We know how much we trust our children. Am I right? Yeah. You know, when I look at Donis, I can give this boy a hundred dollars. And he will be able to use it right. A thousand dollars? Uh-uh. Not yet. When I look at Pastor Donis, with his church and his ministry, I can trust him with a thousand dollars. But a million dollars? That boy will probably put the church to a vacation. <laughs> and we'll be calling people telling them we don't have church this Sunday. Because I'm in Las Vegas. No, 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 no. <laughs> but God knows, God knows how much money he can put in your hands yes. and expect you to behave right. Yes. He knows. Has everything to do with your faith in yes. God. Amen. Do not allow yourself when it comes to the blessings of God. Don't limit God. We, we limit God how much He can bless us. Amen. Amen. Just look, just look at our, our faithfulness to time. Well. Please listen to me. This makes me laugh. The Bible does not say you give time on Sunday when you have church. If Pastor Cole say we don't have church, he never say take the money for your time and go to Bobbers. He never say take that time and just go give it to somebody. He never say take that money and call for pizza. Well. It is the faithfulness between you and God. And we do not allow any difficulties around us to control our faith when it comes to being faithful. And that's how we speak back to the devil. Regardless of the difficulties I, I face, but I'm going to stay faithful to God. If I have to give my 10% every Sunday, that's what I'm going to do because I've got to be faithful for God to trust me. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. I said hallelujah. We cannot. You know, people, we are just different. We can be available with things of God. We can do all kind of things for God. Man, when it comes to money, it's a different story. It's a different story. But we must be faithful in our time and in our offering well, when, when we have church or don't have church it is not the church that makes us faithful yes, yes. it is not something in the church that makes us stay faithful we are faithful because we are Christians yes. we are faithful because we are the children of God we are faithful well, whether there's church or no church we are faithful when, whether it's raining or it's not raining we are faithful 24 7 we are faithful in our homes we are faithful in our houses we are faith. We are faith. Whatever we are, faith that we have in us has nothing to do with our church. Amen. 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 We let ourselves down by failing to be faithful to God. And, and I think the main, the biggest problem here is what I see in the verse number 34 of the book of Luke, right. chapter 12. Amen. 
Luke 12, verse number 34. I think that's where the problem is. Okay. Are you there? Amen. Sister Anne, you read that. Blessed are those servants whom the master, when he comes, will find watching. Assuredly, I say to you that he will gird himself and have them sit down to eat. That and will come and serve them. Oh no, sorry. Turn Luke 12. Turn. 12 For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Now I want you to read again, but I want you to use the evangelistic voice. Put that mic on the right of your mouth. <laughs> Go ahead, do it one more time. <laughs> For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. It is getting better. Do it one more time. Lift that voice and look at, at that microphone and act like you're talking to Mariah who has done something wrong. Come on. For where your treasure Ooh. is, Come on now. there your heart will be also. Okay, now Man. talk like you're talking to a heart who is just touching your nerve. <laughs> Come on now. Do it better. You know how it is when they have been really tired. You know, get to the nerve. I want to need the mic. You want me to mic? Thank you, thank you. You have, you have made up our day today. Yeah. I would not get a microphone. <laughs> but here's the point we're trying to say here. Your heart, if it's not full in God, if your heart, where your faith is, if your heart, I want you to want your attention now. If your heart is divided, if your heart is divided, yes. if your heart is divided, yes. if your heart is divided, your treasure will also be divided. Yes. You'll, you'll take the time that you have to give to God. If it's 20 dollars, you'll take 10, give it to God and say, God, you know, you know, I gotta have another 10. Because your heart is divided. Yes. We cannot allow our heart to be divided when it comes to obeying God. God is calling for us to obey Him 100%. And He wants our heart to be in love with Him 100%. Hallelujah, somebody. I said, Hallelujah, somebody. It is very important for us to be faithful to God. Yes. We have we have we have been without church, without coming together for a few Sundays, two two Sundays maybe, and you know, some Wednesdays. One Sunday. One Sunday. And. Uh, I want us to be faithful to our time and offering. Amen. Amen. We just did the concert. It is because of being faithful to our time and offering. We took care of that thing. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 We took care of that thing. Now, Hallelujah. the next one, we want to take care of this. And I want you to, we're going to be praying, but I want us to believe that we are going to take care of another big thing. We want to be able to, this one time, we're going to sit down with our pen on our check and write a check to somebody who's going to come to our event. If we have to pay him $2,000, we're going to be able to write $2,000 to pay for somebody that we need to come and, and make our concert big. Because this is our way of, of, of winning. We're going to preach 
preach the gospel. The challenge is how do you bring people together? Yes. How do you get them to come? You must be wise. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So whatever money we put together in his for reaching out 